Hey guys, I'm Lucas McFarlane, and this is my new vlog. Um, I will be documenting the process of creating my new show, The Suffocating Truth. I will be dropping a new video every week, kind of documenting how that week went, either in rehearsal or on tour. Um, it's going to be like an eight-part mini-series, um, and this is the first one. So welcome to my vlog about creating The Suffocating Truth. So, day one. Day one already. Day one. I'm starting rehearsals on my tour and my show. <sighs> That's a little bit daunting, but it's fine. No, I'm excited. It's gonna be great. Um, I can't wait to finally get working on this show that's all cooped up in my head. Get it out on these incredible dancers. One of which is here. Say hi. <laughs> oh, me and Ricky are really sick as well. That's another addition to day one. <laughs> Let's go! So to start the week off, I just had a few uh, ground rules I wanted to let them know about before we started creating. There were only a few. I am, first and foremost, um, creative director of this show. Um, I want your opinion when I ask for it. I don't want anyone blurting out anything when I'm in the middle of creating or shooting ideas at me. This is not a job in which you are going to have the luxury of sitting down and chilling. If I'm not using you, which I won't be sometimes, 100%, you need to be going over the other 22 numbers that we have. I don't want to hear no. I don't want to hear complaining. I don't want to hear you can't. I don't want to hear that you're tired. I don't want to hear that you're sore. I don't want excuses for why you can't do something. Stay warm, don't jump into anything cold. Um, but when I say do something, I expect you to be ready to do it. I don't expect you to be like, oh, I've been sitting for, I don't care. This show is going to be uncomfortable for the audience. We are discussing sexuality, um, and I want to break that barrier where it's hit taboo. That's the point of me doing this show, is to make people feel uncomfortable at first, but then see that it's a, it's a human thing that we're dealing with. Mm. We'll require you to be physical with each other, to maybe um, be unclothed. So all I ask is that you have, number one, patience with me, um, and, and my craziness, my um, lack of communication, um, maybe not always knowing where my brain's at, I'll try my best to let you live every single time. Mm -hmm. um, and just give me a hundred percent of you, and we should be fine. Okay? Okay, so maybe I was asking a lot from them, but this process is going to be hard and I need everyone in it 100%. So after that, we got right into rehearsals. And rehearsals went relatively fast, a lot faster than I really anticipated, so I was quite happy with the pace that we were working at. So on the way home, I reflected a bit about the day. <coughs> okay, obviously not feeling better, but today was so much better than I thought it was going to be. Um, minus everyone being like, tube strike. But, eh, we did so much more than I thought. So I am really happy actually how day one went. Kayleen has an injury. Uh, her foot or something, she's in physio tomorrow, so hopefully she'll get it fixed by then. Uh, we'll see. She has to dance tomorrow, so she has to be on ibuprofen or something. <laughs> okay, going home to sleep and eat. Ready for day two. But that wasn't the uh, only injury that Kayleen was going to get this week. What did you do, Kayleen? I slammed my head into the floor, uh, but it was a dancer's choice. It was artistic choice. Really? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm thinking I'm probably going to wear some sort of protective headgear for the real show because we do have a few shows of concrete. So just to protect the... Because <laughs> it's, it's in the choreo now, right? It's in the choreo now. So... It's basically, I slammed my fist like this, but I thought also fist head. Because <laughs> if I really wanted to give myself a concussion, that's what I would do in real life. It's a great choice. Yeah. Re really love the, the, the commitment. Yeah. <laughs> 
But she wasn't the only one with a sore body this week. How's everyone's bodies? <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> and the injuries just uh, kept on happening. I kicked you in the face. I just kicked you in the face. How was it? It really hurts. I have a headache, but. I don't know if it's on the dance so I know. Ew! <laughs> what did you just say? I slipped up on my ass. Oh! Heart is pain. How's your burp, Amy? Spicy. <laughs> uh, I guess that doesn't really count as an injury. So rehearsals continued and we kept getting a ton done, which made me really happy because we were well ahead of schedule. We started to really explore each individual dancer's character and really saw some of their unique movements bringing their characters to life. Yes. Apparently, Ricky's a big fan of Amy Solo. Mm. And this duet, too. As we hit day three, fatigue definitely started to set in. Dancers, you have five minutes. Thank you, five minute call. This is your five minute call. Thank you. How does that make you feel? Makes me feel a little more tired. And with that, came crazy. But in the end, we pulled it together, and we created some pretty amazing stuff, if I may say so myself. This scene in particular might get some people talking. So, today is day five, and we are well ahead of schedule, which is amazing. Um, those are bags under my eyes, that's fun. Um, I got one more big number to do today, and then next week is just like a bunch of solos and duets and stuff, so that is far better than I anticipated, so I'm quite happy. Um, yeah, now we just gotta get those tickets selling, if you don't have yours, for the umpteenth time www.entitleddancecompany.com Alright! So that gave you a little snippet of what we've been up to this week, uh, week one of rehearsals, but uh, there's a lot more to come, and you need to get your tickets at www.entitleddancecompany.com to a show near you. We're coming all around the UK, and I really, really am excited about sharing this new work with everyone. The subject matter is really dear to me, and I'm just really excited for everyone to see this, so get your tickets. I'm going to leave you today with a little snippet of a duet we created um, to a song called Hitchcock by Finn Anderson. So here you go, and I'll see you next week for part two of this vlog series, Creating the Suffocating Truth.
this far.